okay this is the long call strategy so listen carefully so this is the basic strategy so use personally this strategy so let's get started this is a long call when it's very bullish all right when market is bullish so we are using this trading strategy now when to use this strategy when market is using this strategy number one or expected sometimes what happens it's, it's running like that in a sideway they break this range and goes too fast we have seen this type of uh, probability so we are applying this strategy third when we're going to apply this strategy uh, the implied volatility implied volatility should be low all right and uh, this strategy high risk and high reward uh, okay now we are using technique high momentum stocks so we are applying strategy in high momentum stock who uh, stock are running clearly uptrend or downtrend all right so in that uh, in that stock, we are applying this strategy. Uh, now we can see a uh, price breaking out from consolidation, right? Prices are running like a, in a range. So finally, they break this range. So once they break this range, it is a probability to continue toward the up area. So at that time, we are applying. Okay, let's check it audio. Now, okay, okay. Nothing to understand your audio is. Okay, some audio problem is. Now, okay, most of the uh, people, uh, okay, voices, all right, let's check it, voices, okay, okay, nice. Now see, otherwise, when we have seen trend is up 10 and they are bouncing from moving, yes, like that we are applying these strategies bouncing some uh, specific uh trading straight uh, uh from moving average right now what criteria we need to app strategy right when we are going to this at least 60 days to expiration suppose i want to buy some all right and this contact if i want to buy uh their expiry should be more than 60 more than 60 like this strategy all right and buy money or so we know it's not right at the money okay yeah this is a swing trading strategy that means we are holding so so i told uh in earlier that uh i use swing trading strategy in only in option i never trade in stock all right i never trade in stock always trade in option only sometime i trade in stock uh, you can say like interday trader 
I mean, yep. something like that. Rest of the ninety uh, percent I trade in option. All right, that is a swing trading. I am holding my position two to three months. I am collecting my premiums or I am taking huge profit from this. Right. So that is where I am applying. And at that time, in the money. All right, this is called ATM. Buying ATM or slightly in the money. All right, when, uh, okay, at that time, would be not more than 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 percent so everybody knows right delta gamma theta so we already discussed okay delta should be near to 5 to 0 0.6 so later we will discuss close my 30 days before expiration suppose uh, this is uh, june right now this is the june all right and uh, i bought here and uh, stack price and i have like 60 days to expire and all right okay i'll tell you i'll tell you i'll i'll show you everything one by one don't worry first uh, uh understand the basic of this market all right strategy all right and i'll close july this is suppose this is august contact and i'll close my by all right before 30 days expiration before 30 days expiration i'll close my position Okay. Right. All right. All right. I, I, I'll, 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 I'll explain everything. Don't worry. Close if price goes fifty percent your option value. Suppose I bought goes uh, uh, opposite. So I'll close my position if suppose my option value was uh, ten thousand. All right, if price drop to 5,000, all right, 5,000, I'll close my position. This is the rule of exit. So let's get uh, understand how it should work actually. So this is the scenario. Let's see, let me explain. Okay. All right. So first understand, uh, Suppose X, Y, Z, any uh, stocks, and uh, let first. Okay, for example, uh, I wanna buy this here. Suppose uh, this is stock somewhere. Uh, this is not exactly Adani net. Uh, I wrote like that. Uh, this is X, Y, Z stock. All right, X, Y, Z stock. Whatever. Then first and price is somewhere here we have seen this stock was running in this range and finally they broke expecting that price will goes up to 260 target i'm expect price will go up within 60 days in 60 days I'm at price uh, up to 260. Now running 215. So what I'll buy a call option. All right. At the money. I'm not buying this. I'm buying at the money where exactly price is there near nearest or slide slightly in the money i'll right so let's say 
their premium are selling five rupees. All right, premium are selling five rupees. Actual price, uh, sorry, two fifty. The stock price is current price, which is at the money, and stock all option price is five rupees. Is it clear? Is it clear? Audio breaking, okay. Okay, nice. Now let's see. This is the graph, profit and loss graph. All right, suppose uh, this stock, uh, one lot, is equal one contact is equal to 1000 shares all right three option there are some contact all right contract uh every stock have different different uh, quantity of shares all right let's say this stock contact size is 1000 that means if you want to buy one contract or one lot option you have to buy 1000 shares right remember you can't buy one share there is a contract in this contract let's say there is 1000 stock are there all right and bought here at the money exactly prices running there and at that time, call option price was running five rupees. This is called premium. All right. Now, how much we pay? How how much we need to buy this share? Let's say uh, five into one thousand. Ah, uh, this is five. We paid. 5000 to buy this premium all right to buy this have to pay 5000 and how much share we are buying we are buying 1000 shares all right so this line is showing profit and loss graph all right. now this area our maximum loss if share price drops from uh, 215 to 10 rupees we will we will lose only 5000 not we lose only 5000 whatever so we paid a premium so that is uh and this area you uh, graph is look like that okay now, see, we have days to expiration. All right, and we bought at Domin. Here we have seen two graph, one graph and two graph. We have seen two graph here. This guy, this graph is showing us twelve option price till expression all right here is an another graph it's showing current price of option there is two I'll, I'll i'll show you okay okay oh dear good please continue okay what all mo uh, moving average uses okay uh, that is a technical uh, tools uh, where we are identifying uh, the market trend everything okay that's it only forget about that so in this tech we will discuss how we identify first you will uh, understand how we trade this option uh, all right okay oh, yeah yeah okay and so this uh, call option, naked call option, all right? Uh, buy call option. Okay, let's understand first. Now, see, 
is the strike price where we paid 5000 and here you can see this is called break even point how to calculate the break even point break even point is calculating by strike price what is the strike price all right this is exactly we bought here all right this is the plus uh, strike price this one plus premium this one is equal to break now here you can see this is the break even point if price goes to all right stock price goes to 220 break this uh, uh this is called break even point all right okay let's say uh how to calculate the uh profit if price goes 260 suppose price goes the, here is uh, this line so let me tell you this is called profit oblique loss graph okay uh share price all right share share of share price all right sp share price this line is showing the increase of share price and this line is showing decrease of share line and this line is showing profit and from level and here is a lost our lost whatever price goes up all right stock price so we will be a profitable all right we will be a profitable like that like that okay you make sense it is a profitable like that so suppose price goes up to 260 what will be our all right now here two have seen here okay one is this graph is showing uh option price till expiration and this graph is showing price right now now i can see profit and loss how profit and loss stock price minus strike price what is your stock price 15 all right the price is what 260 stack price and a 15 stack and a 5 premium minus premium whatever results comes that is our profit all right now you can see if we are 40 rupees profit how many share we bought 1000 and the total profit is 4000 how is just showing like that let's see price goes up to this level and you can see it's just showing uh, 40,000 profit uh, this profit is showing till expiration suppose uh, before 30 days price goes up to this level all right so at that time our actual profit will be around more than 60,000 why why we are not calculating this line why we are calculating this purple line in this line there are only intrinsic value in this line there in this area uh, that uh, when to expire at that time there is no extrinsic value right what is the extrinsic value extrinsic value is equal to And volatility of expression, there is no time and no volatility. That is why that is the profit actual. But if you want to close, be they suppose price is running actual prices like 60,000. Why? Because there still we have and time. So that is why we are closing our position before. Uh, 30 days expiration all right after that time decay is increasing so that is why we close our position before 30 days okay but 
the y16 days uh, will be too high yeah it is the uh, premium is too high all right so that is why users use okay that is this letter will show you different trading strategy okay boys okay boys is okay just swing like that no deal okay 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 voice is clear okay now all right okay do you have any doubt you can ask me anything uh, if you have any problem all right how to success successful option buyer i'll show you i'll show you everything one by one let me complete everything so okay so very few time uh rarely i use uh, this strategy all right uh, we are trading in option uh, we are hedging our everything all right we are hedging everything we never allow uh, naked option how do we know price will reach uh, with this expiration not exactly expiration so suppose uh let me tell you suppose uh, somewhere price is running like that prior uh, this is the range of this market so suddenly price break this range all right so by doing technical analysis we are uh, we said uh, we are expecting that price will go up to this level so we are expecting we are projecting all right so that is a probability by using technical tools uh, volatility atr by using we are projecting the target that price may go up to this level so at that time we are buying slightly in the money okay by using technical tools one uh, uh, comment is going to pass okay okay we are using when market is too volatile all right so when they are running like that strategy all right uh, so suppose uh price is running like that they are bouncing from moving average and uh, right now somewhere here and we are expecting price will go up next uh, it will hit to this level so at buying at the money all right atm we are for the swing trading for swing trading all right atm at the money all right okay This area, suppose at that time uh, my premium is 10,000, 10K. All right. Price drops suddenly in this area and 5K. So we are closing our position at that time. We are not holding. Another, if price drop, TR. All right. So every uh, one by one. One ATR if price drop one ATR from this area, we are we close our position, right? So this uh, trend is not valid and it will continue toward the downside. So we're gonna lose entire our capital, never gonna lose our entire our premium. We we just close our position if. Uh, opposite signal if they are indicating so we come out from the market all right we never hold this position till expiration right. better on the i'm uh, i'm uh, i'm explaining till expert all 
okay daily monitor in case loss we need to wait till 50 percent then finally close this position this is naked swing trading strategy we are applying all right so technical analysis we can the target yeah technical analysis analysis will tell you where is the next target unable to buy 60 days after option yeah definitely you can buy option how to make <laughs> How to make this graph? All right. <laughs> or will you uh, conduct with a webinar tomorrow? Uh, that is the another strategy. No seller expiration. Okay. Uh, so don't uh, uh, find uh, nor uh, like ordinary stocks or not exactly stock is. You just always find out that nifty 50 or uh, that type high momentum stock definitely you will get so you can buy up to three months strike all right uh, okay option seller always sell four month uh, expiration all right everybody are doing uh, you know we are selling uh, our option uh, till this uh, this or uh, this indices we are using how to make this graph okay yeah there are liquidation so everything we will show you one by one okay first you understand this this uh, um basic uh, basic method how we are applying so now let's see some criteria here advantage and risk to buy this call option advantage is limited risk so we are paying a premium and unlimited return if price goes too far from this area so there is unlimited profit but risk is limited all right this is whatever we pay the premium that is our risk but we never hold till that uh, control the high price stock with minimum minimum uh, capital means uh, so suppose stm pain is running uh, 1500 right now for example so we'll get the premium like 10 rupees 15 rupees or like that all right so we are by giving 10 rupees that is the advantage of this stock and the risk means premium is very high so because we are all right uh, we are buying at the money we are buying at the money all option that is why the premium is too high that is the uh disadvantage or you can say risk all right if you want to apply this strategy stock must not very fast if stock goes sideways you lose your money because of time decay all right so that is why high momentum okay and because we are buying for one month or 45 days so there is problem for time so every day they will deduct our uh, premium all right because of time decay that is the disadvantage of these stocks uh, okay uh, strategy uh before you going to take a first identify a bullish trade all right so suppose the market is running suppose uh, let me show you suppose this is the moving average all right somewhere xyz price is bouncing from here bouncing from here so this type of uh, uh behavior of this market once they and it's a bounce drastically all right very fast so this type of stock we have to find out all right okay next ensure iv percentile below 45 which is we already seen in our 
option chain there was iv option right so at that time iv percentile that stock which stock we wanna buy now that stock iv percentile should be below 40 percent if more than 40 percent we are not looking for buy why if our iv percentile is too high so we are selling that stock iv percentage uh, near 40 or below 40 we are looking for buy that is the criteria all right when you are gonna to take a trade in a specific stock always choose the stock's expiration at least 60 days all right uh suppose uh, now you can see like august we can buy this uh, august um expiration date any stocks all right high momentum stocks and before 30 days to expire we close because last 30 day time decays too high all right it's going to expire that is why time decay is too high we close our position before 30 days is it clear all right <clears throat> at that time we are focusing on delta range so we know right delta means one rupees one rupees goes up option premium will increase by 0 0.5 at least delta 0 0.56 we are focusing on delta if delta is too high remember start selling at that time so that is why we need less delta all right at that time delta at tm at the money price uh, delta's range should be 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 one strike at tm all right so uh, suppose here is a current price or at tm uh, we are bullish in that case at tm and slightly below itm in the money all right we are looking for why we are using this one because we are applying intrinsic value if we at the money there will be intrinsic value all right if price goes little more above from yeah, intrinsic value all right so we are not applying in extrinsic value. we are applying intrinsic need some values all right and remember premium less than two percent liquidation also, if you have uh, one lakh rupees in your account, uh, so LK. All right, one lakh you have. So, so some holding, some stock trading, some option, other words, and that is the net liquidation. That is called one lakh is net liquidation. So we will apply two percent maximum. Person, this premium price should be less than two percent. Two percent, one lakh, two percent, what? All right. If premium price is uh, like uh, more than two percent, so leave it that. Don't take more than two percent risk. Okay. Ensure the bid not zero point five. What is mean? Uh, in option saying we have seen there is two option was there. One is bid price, another ask price, and bid and us hardly 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 point if it's more than 0 point uh, uh, point is more than 0 0.5 to 0 point we are not placing any trade at that time okay when to exit the call so suppose we bought somewhere all right and uh, okay let's say suppose we bought this uh, option all right somewhere here so suppose we bought somewhere here when we close our position first um, 
like that, running like that in a sideways. Finally, they broke this range and price broke this range. All right. And we are targeting that price to this level. <clears throat> All right. Now, criteria to exit this position when stock price reach that target. Suppose price gone up, gone up, gone up, gone up, gone up, and hit target. Close your position. Whatever profit and doesn't matter, just your position. Don't hold. All right. And close the position. Second, or if, suppose, if price doesn't hit, Price is somewhere here. Suppose price is somewhere here. They are running like that, somewhere here. Uh, suppose at that time uh, we paid suppose five k. Uh, this is our risk. Uh, five k. All right. Option price gone and total profit is so ten k. So close your position. That that's only. Close your position. All right. Next, suppose uh, price is not uh, fulfilling this criteria. All right. And they they are still they are like uh, here somewhere around three showing. All right. Suppose right now. And the price gone up now. Price is somewhere here. We already complete thirty days here in this area. Another 30 days right now. Close your position now. Why? Now, these 30 days, time decay is too high. All right, because this is going, it's going to expire within 30 days. So that is why uh, theta, all right, theta is too high, it will be. And the time decay, because of time decay, what? Profit or loss, all right. Turn to this, this profit, this turn to this, toward this line. So that is why exit your position in this area. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, let me read some. Uh, that is the rule of this stock. So this is the basics uh, trading strategy. So after that, we will discuss how we. Pays the position by using covert call or XYZ. Okay. All right, let me read some of your comment. <coughs> All right. Your voice is having, uh, having continuously. Okay. ENT, I don't see any trade for July and August. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. You just find out the high momentum stocks, or you can go for indices also if they are they are forming this. Okay. Last minute, but then uh, the expiry is not trading over. No, no, no. That is not exactly Adani yen. I mistake. I wrote that one. That was another stock. Uh, so that was my mistake uh, somewhere here. Let me tell you. Uh, this is stock actually, uh, not exactly Adani. So, by uh, all right. So by mistake, I wrote this Adani and All right, it's okay. All right. Okay. Allies Blue does not open 60 days option. No, yeah, it's open. Okay. For sale. Okay. Uh, to start today's session from beginning, please, uh, sir. When the gap down, uh, open, then how it self? Okay. Two questions, please. Okay, 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 okay. One by one. Okay, one by one. Now you can ask me again. So uh, many questions already gone up. Okay, let me read one by one. Yeah, Rakesh. Uh, all right, Rajesh. Very, very complete. I tried. Okay, definitely. This is a one by one. I'm going that, that is why this looks like a complicate. So, later, uh, another course I'll show in, uh, you in a live. All right. 
in a life all right a life chart all right so uh, to your to uh, okay all right Bridges for uh, in case of 60 days expiry premium is high or less. Uh, no, no, I'm not exactly getting this uh, answer. Sir, in case uh, of 60 days expiry premium is high. Uh, no, actually, I'm not of that what you are asking, Mr. Kiri. So please explain properly then uh, it will be better uh, for me please display the slide at the beginning and says on please inform ema users and daily chart okay uh, in the technique we have another sector uh, uh, which is called technical analysis so i'll show you all right in the technical analysis how we identify the range all right if you are explaining the uh, life all right let me show you life then you comes to know uh okay all right okay uh let's see some um, so this is the demo software uh, let me use all right mm, now let me see suppose mm, all right uh, let me check is some stock which is uh, uh, probability go high so leave it this one mm, double no like that not like that okay already gone from this area it's a bounce okay that we uh, that is the past the limit mm. SCN pain so not like that ICICI bank not showing SCC okay okay let's see uh, for example all right for example uh, let me use this SCC it's okay Okay, let me show you exactly. All right, then you comes to know. Suppose this is SCC. All right. So suppose we are expecting a price is running like that. Price running like that. Price running like that. Retrace. So we are expecting uh, within sixty days, price will go up to this level. So we are expecting all right so we are hoping that this is a high momentum stock and it will go up to this level all right let me draw a resistance line have you seen it i drawn a resistance line so by using technical tools we have seen price are rejecting and rejecting and rejecting from this area rejecting and we have seen this is a strong support 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 now this is a resistance have you make sense all right how we are analyzing and who, how we are applying the strategy because we are a swing trader we will hold our position up to 60 days all right we will hold our position which is 60 days so that is why i'm using h4 chart or daily chart all right i'm a swing trader in a op all that uh, i never trade in stock uh like i uh, uh what call i'm not a swing trader in swing trader in option i'm holding my position quick command oh, focus on here we are expecting that from this area that will be uh, if press break this level and it will go to this level very fast momentum all right high momentum so at that time what we will do we will buy at the money now let's see what is the current price is running let me zoom a little more all right all right okay okay 
sorry what happened okay now you can see uh, right now price is running around one two two eight all right Take it here. Uh, this is uh, option calculator. You can see here. Okay. Just hold on. SCC. Okay. Now we have seen right now price is running somewhere here. Okay and let's check it scc uh, 28 28 uh, 1 2 0 0 okay now right now it's running 1200 28 and we select just below the in the money all right means let me show you here all right now where is the one two now you can see price is running right now and 128 little more below somewhere here one two zero zero means this is a smaller than this one means this is the in the money because our view is bullish all right our view is bullish so that is why I select for the in the money. I told you in my uh, previous uh, uh, slide, all right. So what I told, uh, okay. Buy at the money or in the money, just below. So we have seen uh, there are no stack price around at the money. That is why we bought in the money. All right, is it clear? Now, check it. Now let persons and June, July, August. We need 30 days. All right. All right. 20. I it's going to expire. Expire 27th August. All right. That will be Thursday. Every Thursday. So let's see June. All right. June, July, August. August. 20, have you seen it? 27 August. That is a last Thursday. All right, every stock expiry last Thursday. So we are ready to buy. So in that case, how would you look like that? So in that case, we have to fo focus on Delta, uh, Gamma, we know it Gamma. Uh, volatility, that means we are not uh, focusing and we need theta all right so let's jump to right now option chain let me show you option chain okay and it's in the option chain how we analyze let's see and uh this is not a stock we need scc and at that time you just select expiration we need june july august 27 august 2020 this is the expiration okay now you can see uh let's say scc now go okay The internet is showing slow. Internal server read. Okay, some problem is showing here. Let's see. Soon, August. June. July. SEC.
Okay, let's see here. Uh, this is the SE. We need. Hmm, what what is the stack press 220 and now you can see id id percentile hey, here is the id percentile have you seen it now you can see it's just showing 49 that is the good all right that is a 49 id percentile and we bought here id percentile and the theta is not showing exactly now how it look like okay all right let's take it uh what is that 120 stack price long option when do we open now you can see delta have you seen it delta is so showing uh 0 0.06 all right vega it's just showing 0 0.0 0 0.67 and a theta minus 2.15 means every day they from our uh, premium two rupees 2.15 or whatever all right so we need that thing see let's how it will look like that now it will look like that have you seen it it look like this graph uh, okay have you seen it it look like that all right Okay, now it will look like that. Have you seen this one? All right. Okay, let me make it a little more smaller. All right, now you can see here. All right. Now this area is showing maximum risk. Means this area, this area. Whatever, this is minimum risk. We're gonna loss if price goes against all right if if uh stc never goes up if lcc fell down from this area and maximum loss will be maximum loss will be like this portion all right this portion but profit is unlimited if option price goes up option price will goes up all right and profit will unlimited all right you can say unlimited according to how many lot you're gonna buy actually so in that case we have to close our position before 30 days expires uh, time decay will high so let me show you another uh, thing here so here I can see it's a showing uh, theta. Have you seen theta is showing minus two? All right. If I change this one expiration to zone. Okay, 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 okay. Zone July. So when we have seen, uh, we extend this one. All right, this one extend. All right. Let me let me show you. Let me close this one okay now when i increase my time theta it's just showing theta also decreasing if i decreasing this time value theta will be automatically increased all right let's say let me show you to july june now have you seen automatically so that is why we are closing our position before the days to expiration to avoid the theta okay all right so i hope uh, any telegram channel all right all right all right all right no there is no 20 so it's the time frame what is the time frame okay any telegram channel still not. all right so i'll i'll upload this uh, video in my uh, youtube channel so you just uh, uh, you will find after complete this course after that i will uh, uh, not 
I will create uh, manually because some of uh, some voice problem are here. So that is why I will create again video and I will upload my YouTube channel. So you can subscribe my YouTube channel. So this course will be free. All right, this course will be free. I'll create manually uh, one by one and I'll upload in my YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel name is Defend Bogoy. All right. So because of uh, um, audio problem, uh, I think most of the people are not properly. DWI, which is I, PN. All right, Defend. So I'll show you my live chart. So all right, you can go in my YouTube channel. You will find. Okay. All right. Okay. Expiry twenty second August expiry. Yeah. In this. Okay. So uh, for your understanding, I'm so your YouTube channel name is. Uh, this is my YouTube channel name. And this is the Greek. Uh, Greek for sixty days or next. Week value 60 days. Uh, harmonic pattern is good for option trading or not. So, I'll show you everything. So, how we are applying this type of trading strategy. So, most of the people are uh, asking me, sir, how to identify uh, this stock like that? Uh, just a mini. Okay. How we identify this stock? Okay. Mm -hmm. So again, I'll 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 explain. Don't worry. Again, I'll uh, explain. Why is moving that much? So let's check it. Another stock. Okay. Mm. So let's say. Mm. Yeah, is DFC bank. Uh, so suppose is DFC bank is running like that. Okay, no, it's a not a li not like that. It is sideways. This is a different trading strategy, right? What happened this one? I don't know exactly why it's just very slow. Lines. Let's check it once. Reliance. So first, you must know uh, Reliance. Where is the Reliance? Okay, now this is the Reliance. Okay, so now I can see these are the Reliance. They are running drastically. Have you seen it? Applying this strategy sometime. All right, this is the Reliance. Have you seen it? And now you can see Reliance goes up. All right, goes up, boom, goes up, boom, goes up, boom, goes up. Let's say here right now, price is somewhere here. So we are expecting, all right. So we are expecting it will go up. Okay. So let's say daily. So daily we have seen this is a strong uh, resistance right now. And we are expecting that price will go up. If price break this resistance faster, so it, it will go up level. 60 days all right so at that time we're gonna use this strategy all right we will buy exactly at the money right now here you can see price is running around uh, so let's say uh for uh for your example 1600 right this is the at the money or in the money whatever right now stack price is somewhere here let's go to our uh options strategies so here just type on reliance okay just update all right update and now we have seen and where is the uh, long call and 1600 uh, sharply yeah this is the add the money and let's say we need august 
symbol one quantity this and now you can see this is uh, they are selling uh 1600 price they are selling around 123 all right and this is the discount all right now at that time you can see delta is showing 0 0.55 that's good vega it's okay theta is okay now let's go to buy all right so at that time you can see option chain you can check it option chain implied volatility iv percentile should be below 40 percent is it there for the below 40 percent or not let's check it and let's go to here uh reliance re okay first you check it this time uh 20, 28 august all right we need reliance uh, go all right this is a uh, underlying we don't need june we need uh, august all right this is august and let's jump to ib percentile all right have you seen 16 this is uh, this one uh somewhere here and this is the 1600 IV percentile and this is the IV percentile have you seen it uh now let's check it uh, what is the running right now 35 i told right we need below 40 percent have i seen it i told you right IV percentile we need below uh 30 percent and here you can see uh below 40 percent here you can see it's running 30.8 that's a and this is um, you can you can say strike money at the rate sorry at the money not the at the rate okay now let's go to this area and here we select everything fine so reliance suppose reliance uh, quantity 1000 for example it's uh, more than 1000 all right and now here i can see let's say graph how it will look like that it should look like that all right this uh if you want to buy 1000 share for example all right reliance i don't know exactly how much you have to check it all right how many uh contact size are there all right how many Say are there all right now i can see let's calculate okay it's calculating here all right if price stay uh below okay okay let's let's get all right so here it's a swing if price stay here you will lose you will lose that much of money all right if price goes you can see there is an unlimited profit all right there is unlimited profit okay okay let me see the delta mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's just going too too high so that type of uh, stocks so i think yeah, some calculation is too all right uh, some uh, in, uh here well, swing delta it's uh, not becoming uh, 500 correct Yeah, it's just showing a uh, five, five, five. It seems the quantity, right? Uh, if I say one quantity, so it's showing like that. Have you seen it? So I use that one. All right, why that was uh, showing like five, five, five? You know? No, it's not a high premium actually. Right. 
okay price has to travel lot of uh, break even okay mm. yeah it's a free software free software free software so use dt like that so it's i'm changing the quantity that is why delta is increasing showing like that how to get this software it's a free software all right everything will comes to know here all right okay Yeah. We are using different different trading strategies. So I'll show you how to project the market actually. All right, how we are using this easy to identify because I'll show you different trading strategy where to sell and when to sell. All right. So users understand the basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I don't know why why my website is showing too slow today. I don't know exactly. Okay. By the way, it's okay. All right. Okay, which is uh, showing by you? Thank advance uh, option. Which is show by you? Getting in the free uh, uh, option. So by you. Okay. Yeah. So it's over. Uh, all right, guys. Okay. Okay, no us and beat us swing here like that. Have you seen us beat? All right, so we need that mass of difference. So if the difference is too high, so we have to wait. All right. So I hope you understand today how we are applying this uh, naked option trading and in a bullish market or bearish market. So that uh, we are applying this type of strategy when uh, prices. Uh, high probability to go drop for upside or downside so we are applying this type of strategy all right so tomorrow we'll uh, understand different trading strategy will combine with a share or investment and another sell sector also step by step we'll uh, we'll uh, cover everything all right thanks so tomorrow we'll okay uh, complain uh, explain again tomorrow sorry. okay sure sure Sure, one by one, so it will, it will, I'll come, uh, uh, yeah, 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 I'm, I need, yeah, sure.